Hello everyone, I'm Sarah for Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the amethyst beanie, which you can see here in front of you. There's also several other photos on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. Uh, this hat can be worn with a pom-pom, as you can see in the photo, or without, as I have done in my sample here. This is the amethyst beanie. It's a fairly easy crochet beanie to work. Worked mostly in single crochet stitches and spiked single crochet stitches. Then when we come up to our decrease rounds, we have some single crochet two togethers. I've worked a double thick fold up slip stitch brim for this hat just to make it a little bit more cozy and warm. I'll give you direction later on in the video as far as how to uh, switch the brim up if you would like. The hat today that I'll be working is an adult sized beanie, so with a 20 to 22 inch circumference. Again, I'll give you direction later on on how to change the size of the hat. And uh, it's worked from the brim up to the top. For your pattern today, you're going to need two different colors of a worsted weight yarn. I'll be working with the Color Theory Yarn by Two of Wands and Lion Brand. This is a 100% acrylic worsted medium weight yarn and there's about 246 yards per ball. You're not going to use all of the ball. You'll use a little bit more of your color A than you do with your color B, probably half a ball of color B. Um, but uh, you'll definitely want two different colors in order to show the pattern and texture. You're also going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook or a G7 hook and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. This channel is updated every week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, and there are many other crochet beanie patterns that you may want to check out as well. Our hat today is worked from the brim up, and the brim of our hat is worked in rows. So you're going to start by taking your color A, today I'll be working with the ivory color, and by making a slip knot, you're then going to chain a foundation chain. If you would like a fold up brim, as I had done, you're going to chain 26. If you would prefer not to fold up your brim, I recommend chaining about 13. and 26. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to start by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook and in each stitch all the way across. Now I love working slip stitch brims, but I know that they are not everyone's cup of tea. So if you would rather not work slip stitches for your brim, you may substitute these stitches for either a single crochet or half double crochet or a mixture. It's really up to you. Today I'll be working slip stitches all the way across. I'm working in the back bumps of my stitches, but again, it's just personal preference. So you can work in the front or back loop or this bottom bump if you choose. So slip stitch in that second stitch and then in each stitch all the way across. Once you have worked your slip stitches all the way across your foundation chain, at the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to continue working slip stitches, this time working them in the back loop only. To find the back loop only, you're going to look at the top of your stitch and you see the this V. You have a loop that's closest to you. This is your front loop only. And when you look at the other side you have a loop that is furthest away from you. This is your back loop only. So you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch working in the back loop only and then slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. 
When you come to the end of this row, you're going to chain one and turn your work just as you did before and then repeat. You're going to repeat this row two until your work from the beginning measures about 16 to 17 inches when the fabric is relaxed uh, or your desired length for your brim. You'll want it to fit comfortably around uh, your head or the person's head that you're making it for. So you're going to slip stitch back loop only all the way across, chain one, turn your work and repeat and do that until your hat measures about 16 to 17 inches for the adult size. You can then meet me back here. Okay, once you have worked to about 16 to 17 inches, this is what your work is going to look like. From the beginning, it should have a good stretch to it, but you want the 16 to 17 inches when the fabric is just relaxed like this. We're then going to take our two short ends and we're going to fold them over until they meet. This is going to form our brim. We're then going to, without fastening off, chain one. And you're going to turn your work so that you're working along these short ends. And you're going to work a slip stitch seam in the back loop only of through both thicknesses. So insert your hook in the back loop only of the first side, reach across, and to the other side, back loop only, and then work a slip stitch. You're going to do this in each stitch across, and uh, while you do so, you're going to make sure that you're not skipping any stitches, you're not working twice in any stitches, you just want it to be a nice, smooth seam all the way across the two short ends of your brim. Once you have slip stitched all the way across, if you're working the fold up brim as I'm going to be doing, you're simply going to leave it with this seam exposed. If you are working a shorter brim, you're going to want to turn it so that it is right side out. Otherwise, you're just going to leave it as is. We're now going to work, start working the body of our hat, which is worked in rounds. And we're going to be working around this rough edge. For our first round of the hat body, we are going to begin by working a half double crochet. We're going to work a total, I'm just looking for my page here, uh, we're going to work a total of 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around. So half double crochet, I'm just inserting my hook where it feels comfortable if it helps. You can uh, place a stitch marker about halfway around so that you get half the stitches on one side, half the stitches on the other. It's up to you. Now if you're changing the size of your beanie, for the stitch pattern itself, you need a multiple of two. When it comes to the decrease in the top of the hat, uh, I have my decreases starting with 12 stitches. So I'm uh, working in multiples of 12. But if you're changing it and you will be shortening the decrease lengths at the top of the hat, you're just going to need a multiple of two stitches for this first half double crochet round. Once you have worked 84 half double crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to chain one. Do not turn your work as you're working these rounds. For round two of our hat body, you're going to simply work a single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your final stitch, you will be switching to your color B in that final stitch. I'll show you how I like to change colors when I come around. When you come all the way around at the end of round two, you'll have one stitch remaining. and You'll want to switch to your color B in that final stitch. To switch to your color B, you're going to insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and drop your loop. Drop your color A, 
pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. In this pattern, we are not going to fasten off our colors at the, when, uh, at the end of the rounds when we change colors. We're simply going to leave them attached and then pull them up on the inside as we work. For rounds three and four, you're going to chain one, work a single crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and continue. At the end of round four, so you're working two rounds of single crochet in your color B, at the end of round four we are going to be switching back to our color A in that final stitch. At the end of round four, you're going to have one stitch remaining. Insert your hook with your color B into that final stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Drop your color B and pick up your color A, which should be just inside your hat, and you're going to place it on your hook, and then finish off with a join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You're then going to chain one. Now for round five, with our color A, we're going to be working our first spike stitch. So a spike stitch is essentially a single crochet stitch worked into the stitch three rounds below. So just into the top of that stitch. So you're going to bring your hook down. So normally we'd be working in this stitch up here. You're going to bring your hook down into the top of the stitch three rounds below. Insert your hook. Yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of your single crochet yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to work a single crochet into the top of the next stitch. Next, work a spike stitch into the stitch three rounds below. So working over top of this next stitch into the stitch three rounds below, work one spike stitch. We're now going to repeat that all the way around. So spike stitch followed by a single crochet into your next stitch. Spike stitch, single crochet into your next. Repeat this all the way around and then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round five, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round six, we're going to chain one, single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the end of round six, you're going to join with a slip, or you're going to switch to your color B and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round six, you're going to switch back to your color B and join with a slip stitch into this first stitch. Now for the rest of the body of your hat, you are going to repeat rounds three, four, five, and six for a total of four more times. This is going to bring you through to round 22. At the end of round 22, you can meet me back here and we will go through the decrease rounds for the top of our hat. So you're going to re repeat row rounds three, four, five, and six for a total of four more times and then meet me back here. Once you have repeated rounds three through to six 
for a total of four more times. You'll be at the end of round 22, and this is what your work from the beginning will look like. You're going to have switched back to your color B, and you're going to continue working in your color B as we start our decrease rounds. Now, one thing to note as we're working the decrease rounds for this hat, that they are only worked in these single crochet rounds uh, in your color B. Okay, so whenever you're working with your color A, there's no decrease stitches. They are only in your color B. For round 23, this is our first decrease round. With your color B, you're going to chain one. You're then going to single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches, starting with that same stitches joining. So single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. And 10. You're then going to work a single crochet two stitches together. To work your single crochet two together, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. That's your single crochet two together. You're then going to repeat that all the way around single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. And then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 24, you're going to chain one, work a single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. and then single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that single crochet in each of the next nine stitches, single crochet two stitches together, and again repeat all the way around until you come to your first stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 24, you're going to end with a single crochet two together and at this time you're going to switch back to your color A or you can join with a slip stitch and then switch back to your color A, it's up to you. At the end of round 24 you're going to have a total of 70 stitches. For round 25 you're going to chain one and you're going to start by working a spike stitch into that stitch just as before three rounds below. Next, single crochet into your next stitch and then work a spike stitch into the stitch three rounds below. You're going to repeat this all the way around. There are no decrease stitches in this round. We're just working spike stitches into the stitches down below. And uh, when you come to your decrease stitches, you're just going to insert your hook uh, down into whatever stitch falls directly below that decrease stitch. So I'm going to come over to my decrease stitch right here, single crochet into it, and then just down below into the next one, it's up to you which piece you put it in, but you're going to insert your hook still down three stitches below and then into your next stitch. So you're going to continue that all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of round 25, you still have 70 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. 
for round 26, single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to switch back to your color B and uh, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. For round 27, you'll be working with your color B. You're going to chain one, and we're going to work a couple more rounds of slip stitch, uh, decrease rounds. So what we're going to do is single crochet into each of the first uh, eight stitches. And then single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And single crochet two stitches together. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 27, you're going to have a total of 63 stitches. For round 28, you're going to single crochet into each of the first seven stitches. And then single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And then single crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, Join with a slip stitch into your first stitch and switch back to your color A. At the end of round 28, you'll have a total of 56 stitches. You're going to switch back to your color A. For round 29, with your color A, you're going to work a spike stitch into the top of the stitch three rounds below over that first stitch, and then single crochet into your next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Spike stitch over the next stitch into the round, three rounds below, and single crochet into your next. There are no decrease stitches, so you're just going to continue this pattern all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Once again, when you come to these decrease stitches, you're just going to be inserting your hook into the stitch directly below the next stitch, just as I did there. And then into this one, down directly below, just like so, all the way around. At the end of round 29, when you come all the way around, you'll still have 56 stitches. You can chain one and you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around for round 30. At the end of round 30, you're going to switch back to your color B and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 31 with your color B, chain one, single crochet into this first stitch in each of the next five stitches so you want six single crochet stitches in total and then single crochet two stitches together repeat 
single crochet in each of the next six stitches. And single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around until you come to your first stitch. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of round 31 you're going to have a total of 49 stitches. For round 32 we're going to chain one single crochet into each of the next five stitches and single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that single crochet into each of the next five stitches and single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 42 stitches. Also at the end of this round you're going to switch back to your color A. For round 33 with color A, spike stitch into the stitch directly below the next stitch three rounds below and then single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Once again when you come to these decrease stitches just continue to work in the stitch directly below that next stitch as you're coming around. For round 34, we're going to chain one single crochet into the same stitch as joining. We're still working in our color A. And then you're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And you should continue to have 42 single crochet stitches. Also at the end of this round, we're going to switch back to our color B. For round 35, you're working with your color B again. You're going to chain one, single crochet into each of the first four stitches, starting with that same stitches joining. And then single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around single crochet into each of the next four stitches and single crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 35 stitches. For round 36, you're going to chain one single crochet into each of the first three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, single crochet into each of the next three stitches and single crochet two stitches together. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 28 stitches. You will switch back to your color A and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 36, you'll have a total of 28 stitches. You're going to have your color A joined at this time. 
you can fasten off your color B. Now for round 37, just as we did before, we're going to work our spike stitch into that round three rounds below, directly below the next stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around, spike stitch, followed by a single crochet, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll still have 28 stitches. At the end of round seven, 37, join with your slip stitch, chain one. For round 38, we're simply going to single crochet into that same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, remember you are continuing to work in your color A, so there is no need uh, to switch to your color B. We're just going to continue working in that color A, join with your slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 39, you're going to chain one, single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that single crochet in each of the next two stitches and single crochet two stitches together. You're going to continue all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 21 stitches. For round 40, chain one, single crochet into that first stitch and single crochet two stitches together. Repeat that single crochet in the next stitch and single crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come to the end of this round, you'll have a total of 14 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for your final round, round 41, you're going to chain one and you're simply going to single crochet two stitches together in each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You should have seven stitches at the end of this final round. Join. You can then go ahead and fasten off. When you fasten off, you'll want to leave a little bit of a long tail. And we're going to use that long tail to sew the top of our hat closed. So taking your yarn needle, you're going to thread the yarn needle and then simply take your yarn and weave it in and out through the top round of stitches. You want to insert your needle where you would normally insert the crochet hook just so that there's a little bit less resistance when you go to pull the top of your hat closed. All the way around when you come back to that first stitch, you can simply pull the top of your hat closed. 
and then I like to tuck it in down into the center and into the inside by that time you can secure it before weaving in your ends. Then go ahead, fasten off any other ends that you might have there. Turn your beanie right side out. If you did that double thick brim, you can then flip it up. And that is it for your amethyst beanie. If you wish, you can also uh, attach a pom-pom there to the top. It's really up to you. It also looks great without. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of the other great free crochet patterns here. If you happen to make anything again, uh, I invite you to tag Rich Dexter's Crochet on social media. I do love to come and admire it. So thanks again, and I'll see you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.